Hi, it's Pavel with a C Sharp homework from uh, the book uh, C Sharp 2012 How to Program. This is from chapter 6, exercise 13, and we'll be calculating uh, some factorials. Uh, it just tells us what factorials are uh, that they are positive integer from. Uh, it's a, all right. The factorial of a positive integer n is equal to the product of the positive integer from 1 to n. Uh, you know that the factorial is, this is factorial, and with the exclamation point. Alright, so uh, we're supposed to write an app that evaluates the factorials uh, of the integers from 1 to 5, and then display the results in tabular format. So there will be no uh, recursion, uh, sometimes people use this uh, to calculate factorials that way, we will simply use a loop. All right, so what we need, we need our uh, integer alcohol factorial, and it's going to be 1. We'll start from 1, uh, because factorial of 0, you, you start with 1 anyway, from 1 to 5, remember. Okay, so this is our initial value, so 1. Integer index, that's for, the, for our loop. Uh, and that's going to be 1, and integer counter, which is again for our loop, equals 0. You'll see all these uh, variables in action in just a minute. Now we're supposed to output it in a tabular format, so I will write a, like the header of the, of the tab uh, of the output, so console.write line. The first column would be the number that we enter from 1 to 5, and a tab, and after that, the factorial of that number. I will also do a console that read line to pause the output. You'll see, uh, let me show you what, the, what I mean by the header, in case you don't know. Uh, it's, it's a simply, again, remember, we're supposed to output everything in tabular format. And the table usually has some header, so we got a number and a factorial. So under here we have the numbers from one to five and their uh, factorial. So we have the header. So now we can just do our while loop, and we will loop five times. So while index, remember index equals one. In order to loop five times, we do less or equal to five. So our index is less or equal to 5, we will loop. Okay, now remember what the factorial is. It is the product of the positive integers from 1 to n. So we need to do the multiplication, which we need to do, uh, all right here, counter will equal the index. And we will do an inner loop, inner while loop, while counter is greater than zero, we will do the multiplication. Our factorial uh, will equal times equal the counter. We're going backwards, remember, so uh, counter minus minus. So again, what, what this does, this is like an outer loop and this is like an inner, in, inside loop. We got the, uh, we're looping from 1 to 5 here. But over here, we need to uh, add the product, in other words, the multiplication of all the numbers before the factorial itself. So let's say if now we, Let's assume we're doing number three here. So we're going to loop three times and add one times two and two times three here. All right. Uh, yeah, I think that's actually all that is uh, to calculate the factorial. And after this loop, we'll still be the, after the uh, in inner loop, we will output the console that right line. And uh, 
it's going to be the remember we got the number and the number in this case is the index and we'll add the tab and now we will add the factorial so this should output the two columns one with the index which will be the one two three four five and the factorial for each of those numbers okay so uh, after we do this we also need to let's not forget the index for the outer loop okay i think that might be all let me let me test it and i will try to explain it again uh, see if it runs and this doesn't run <laughs> i mean it runs a little bit uh why do we have such a huge number factorial of five i know is uh, 120 and that's uh, five factorial is 120 so this is definitely wrong And uh, let me see, this is a uh, counter equals index, get the factorial. Oh, because the factorial holds the value of all, like it's like a total. Instead, over here, we have to be reset the factorial to one. In fact, we don't even need it over here as an initial value anymore then. And, uh, yeah, because we always start from one. Let's see. Yeah, that's better. One, two, six, twenty-four, and one hundred and twenty. So it's working, and I'll try to explain it. It's very, very short, so it should be simple, right? But uh, okay. Our variable factorial will hold the factorial for each number. This is over here. When I forgot this uh, to to reset it to one. It, it just kept adding to it and adding to it with each loop. All right, so um, I'm calculating factorial for that. So that's why I had to reset it. And now the index is for our outer loop, counter is for our inner loop. Now our outer loop is simple. It's index, uh, it loops five times because the, that's what the, we are supposed to do. Calculate the factorials for one, two, three, four, and five. Now inside of that, like I said, we reset the factorial to one for each number because that's the, it always starts with one. Uh, and our counter will equal the top number. All right, so if let's say, again, let's say index is three, so our counter equals three. So we are calculating factorial for the number three. So we loop three times here until it is uh, greater than zero we are decreasing the counter. And what, it, what does it equal? We start from three, so our factorial, which equals one, times equals three. Then that, in other words, it's going to be three, one times three is three, times two. So now we have six, and the lastly it would be one, six times one is still six. So when, and I think the best way to do it would be to do a quick debug to show you uh, the values itself. So we go to our inner loop here, factorial equals one and our counter equals one as well. Now we loop in factorial of one, counter, counter equal the index, which in this case was one. So we only have one and that's it one one iteration that's that's all because the next time counter is equal to zero so the counter is no longer greater than zero so we get out out of the loop and output the result over here which is which is one and one all right that's for the number one now we go to number two we go to the outer uh, while loop now our index equals two, right? Our factorial is reset to one again, but our counter equals two. So now we will be looping here twice. So we start with number two, one, one 
times 2 equals 2, so our factorial will now equal 2. And now it will multiply 2 times 1, which is still 2. And that's it, it gets out of the loop. And outputs the, display, uh, the output, 2 and 2. Now the number 3, there we go, uh, factorial equals 1, counter equals 3 now, so we're gonna loop 3 times. Now factorial equals 3, because uh, 1, initial value, times 3 is 3. Now factorial will equal 6, because now counter equals 2, so 3 times 2 equals 6. And now factorial will equal still 6, because counter equals 1, and 6 times 1 is still just, uh, just 6. So 3 times, out of the loop, output 3. And 6. 3 is the number, 6 is the factorial of the number. Now number 4, yeah, I think you're getting hang of it right by now. Factorial reset, counter equals 4, so we loop in uh, 4 times, uh, we, and 4 times 1 is 4, so first value is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, so now factorial equals 12, you can see. Now factorial will equal, what's the counter? 2, so 12 times 2, so it's going to be 24, there you go, and finally counter equals 1, 24 times 1 is 24, so the factorial of number 4 is 24, here you have it, and lastly number 5, I'll just do it quickly, so the initial value is 1, 5 times 1 is 5, factorial equals 5 now, 5 times 4 is 20, so now it equals 20. 20 times 3 is 60, so it equals 60. 60 times 2 is 120. There you have it. And finally, it's 120 times 1, which is the last iteration, is 120. Out of the loop, output 120. And that's the end of the loop the outer loop as well. So I hope you understand what's going on here uh, with these uh, outer and uh, inner loops. Uh, this number can be anything. Let's, let's make it 10. And uh, you have uh, factorials of 10. So I suggest if you have a hard time following this, I suggest you just, uh, this is very short, so just Fire up your Visual Studio, enter the code, and uh, go to a debug mode. Put a put a break uh, to the to the while loop, and see how the values change, how the, the iteration is going on, and how you know the numbers get reset here. And uh, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to understand it quite quickly. All right, I hope it helps you, and I'll see you next time. Take care.